Hey you. Yes, you. I have a question. Have you figured out what you want to do after high school? I know, tough question. If you're like me, you're probably thinking, after high school, don't I need to get through high school first? Well, the truth is, right now is the perfect time for you to start thinking about your future. Imagine this. Your parents come into your room and say, great news, we're going on a trip today. Quickly pack your bags, we leave in an hour. Now, you're excited about going on the trip for the day. It will be a good getaway for a while. But, you're missing some key information. Your parents didn't tell you where you're going today. How do you pack for a trip if you don't know what to pack? Maybe you're going to the snow and need a heavy jacket and gloves and boots. Maybe you're going to the beach, in which case a swimsuit is better than a heavy coat. Maybe you're going to the big city for a day of fun and shopping. My point is, if you don't know where you're going, how can you plan for it? And if you don't plan, who knows where you'll end up? And believe me, now that I'm a senior, the last three years of high school have felt like that hour my parents gave me to pack my bags before I leave on a trip. It's not a lot of time. That's why planning for your future should begin now. Okay, so maybe you have no idea what you would like to do or be in the future. Trust me, you're not alone. But the only way you're going to find out what interests you is by exploring a variety of possible pathways. And hey, you're in luck. Kalinga High School offers 15 technical education courses that can help you discover your interests in a variety of fields, from health and medicine to movie making, from teaching to criminal investigation. In fact, Kalinga has one of the premier CTE programs in the Valley. Hey sis, I'm glad you're here because we're about to see some fun and exciting learning. Check this out. Hi, I'm Jonathan Lopez. And I'm Natalie Montes. And, and you're, you're watching, watching In the News at CHS. Hi, I'm Katie Ardondo with In the News at CHS. Here talking to Jessica Bailey.
ROP and CTE courses benefit the students by giving them job readiness skills, um, you know, experience in an industry so that when they leave these courses they can go out and step right into a job. This class benefits me in the way that I've learned to prepare many meals and in the future if I decide to go into the food industry I have practice and experience. I think this class can prepare me in the future uh, with some skills such as being a team player, also developing communication skills and being quick and efficient. I also think that if I want to pursue a career in the food industry that this class can benefit me. I've learned a lot about um, like how different things like encouraging and praising a child, how important that is or uh, reading to a child, how much that will actually uh, help them progress and develop. I'm just going to try to do my best for them so I mean there's certain stuff that might help them along the way. I might help them explore things they might want to do so say they want to play an instrument, maybe they want to play piano or they want to uh, play guitar or even just read to them and make sure I'm there for them in those different ways. Some of the things I've learned so far in this class is just a little bit about how the baby's um, brain development works. Uh, I've learned how to dissemble and assemble lights. I've also learned how to um, take pictures outside. I've learned how to change the aperture or the ISO settings to, for it to go darker or lighter in the pictures. Um, just a few of the things that we do in that class um, include taking several pictures at different sporting events. We create designs using Photoshop and Lightroom. Um, we do personal projects where we recreate movie posters and newspaper posters. Some of my favorite parts are being able to stand on the sidelines and take pictures for my own personal self of the games and that's the part I really enjoy. So far I've learned how to edit in both Premiere, InDesign, Photoshop, uh, um, among working with other communicative skills like just talking to people or standing up in front of a lot of people and being able to speak. Um, when I'm in college I can take different courses and possibly go into this industry later because I'm not sure what exactly I want to do yet so this could help me in the future. I took ROP Multimedia in high school as a senior so I I was familiar with the process, I was familiar with the training for you know media skills. Um, this is back in 2005, around 2005 and so um, that really kind of sparked my interest in getting into a lot of the video editing and, uh, and filmmaking process. It's really fun to get into a class that you know you could imagine oh I could do this for a career and I could get paid for it so that's something that's that's really unique about this course and uh, while learning about it you learn many new skills that will be useful in the future. I'm taking this course because I like learning about the law. I look forward to learning about uh, like criminal proce procedures. I like to learn about um, court, how the court works and all that. I'm Mr. Voss. I'm criminal justice, um, crime scene investigator, and homeland security teacher here at Kalinga High School. I've been teaching for approximately, well, for five years. Kind of gives students an overall look into what corrections, what police work, um, the courts, and what they all do overall. Um, opens up the door for some investigations and things also and it, like I said it just kind of gives them a look in what law enforcement does and how to get an em employed within that those positions. Hi my name is Glenn Sailors. I am the Ag Welding Instructor here at Kalinga High School. Um, in my program uh, ROP Welding and Fabrication what we mainly focus on is getting kids certifications uh, through like they can get their 1G certification which is just a straight flat flat certification it's through the AWS, which is American Welder Society. Uh, we also focus on 2G and 3G, which is horizontal. So the plate will be sitting right here in front of you. Imagine this is the plate, and you can weld right there in front of you. And then also the other certification we work on is vertical, which is a 3G certification. It, these, these are all through AWS, again. And so they are able to go vertical up. So the plate is right here, right? And so you have 
you'd be welding the rod all the way up through the plate. And so if they were able to get these three certifications in high school and come out of a high school program with these AWS certs, they are going to be a lot more, uh, I guess, desirable by employers. And when they go to the college program to hone in on more of these skills, to focus on more of their fabrication work and more of their certification work, it's going to be a lot easier for them. They'll be already ahead of the curve. And that's my goal is to send these kids out of my program ahead of the curve. Not at the curve, ahead of it. The skills we've learned are we know how to tape ankles, do ice bags, do that. I do plan on being an athletic trainer in the future. I plan on going to West Hills and doing the kinesiology pro or the athletic training program there and then transferring to Fresno State to continue my education. Uh, so far I've learned a lot of skills. I know a lot more about the human body than I knew whenever I came in. I know um, a lot of stretching and a lot of um, consequences that can come with not treating your body right. I teach these courses because I'm really passionate about the food services industry and I believe in the power of CTE and preparing students for their future. I, uh, my name is Daniel Burke. I graduated in 2013 from CHS and after that I went to UC Davis and I graduated from Davis in 2017. And I've been working as a software developer for uh, about seven months now. Mm -hmm. uh, Chagoyan's class really helped me. I took his web design and programming classes. They really helped me uh, when I went to college to look for uh, jobs at my university and I was able to get a job in information security. And uh, from there, that really opened a lot of doors. Mm -hmm. and, and the biggest part of me getting that job was my experience in web design, because I was able to update their websites. And uh, that was something they were looking for. Uh, now I work at Workday. It's a software company in, uh, in Pleasanton, up in the Bay Area. Uh, and I'm an app developer. So I work uh, kind of building the logic of uh, the software for, um, so we make human resource software. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chagoyan's programming class really helped me because the programming I do every day is, is very object oriented. And that's exactly what Chagoyan was teaching us back in his class when we would make games and stuff. Yeah, I would say take Chagoyan's class and when you're curious about something or interested in something, talk to him about it. Because Chagoyan's really good about letting students exercise creativity. Mm -hmm. And if you're curious about something, like you can research it further, he can help you get more information about it. Hi there, my name is Jessica Harrington and I'm a reporter with 23ABC in Bakersfield. I was part of In the News at CHS when I was in high school and it really did change my entire career path. Initially, I wanted to be a math teacher, but now I'm working here. So first off, one of the things that I learned is that I loved the news. I had no idea until I started at In the News at CHS. I really loved meeting people and telling stories, so it worked out perfectly. Uh, being a part of In the News really opened my eyes to what would become what I'm doing today, my future career. It also taught me a lot about the process of putting together a new show. I realized really just how much work goes into creating a show, whether it's 11 minutes long or an hour long. Regardless, it showed me that it takes a lot of hard work and planning. It also started to teach me how to act normal on camera because when you first see yourself on camera, it's awkward and you're embarrassed and you hate the way your voice sounds. But the more you do it, the more comfortable you become and the better you get at it and the less you cringe when you see yourself on TV. It also forced me to work on my interviewing skills because you learn right away that when you ask a yes or no question that the person you're interviewing will most likely give you a yes or no answer. Eventually, it teaches you to think about how you ask a question and what question you're asking to get the answer that you're looking for or to evoke like the most emotion or response that you need to tell the story that you're trying to tell. The other thing that In the News taught me is how to begin to look for stories, how to write stories, and most importantly, how to tell stories. Within the news, it was a lot of on-campus stories and feedback from students about changes going on at school. And when you leave CHS, it's still the same idea, but instead you're focusing on a city or a community or an individual. One last thing I wanted to point out, I don't know what the cameras look like now, but when I was part of In the News, we used a similar version to the camera that I'm using now, so something kind of small like this. So it was really nice to be able to get that initial practice early on and really work with that style camera because that's what I'm working with today. 
Overall, In the News was a great outlet to learn about the broadcast world and to start working on those skills that really make a difference if you choose this career path. Because the more you repeat the things that you're going to be doing in real world business, the better you're going to get at it. And even if you don't choose to go into this line of work, it helps with communication skills, which obviously can be used in any field of work that you decide to go into. So I just want to end with saying thank you for listening to me tell my story about how In the News has changed my life. And I also wanted to leave you with a few clips from my journey so you can see how I've developed on camera from In the News at CHS when I was really shy to working for 23 ABC Today where you can't get me to be quiet. Lately there have been an increasing number of car vandalisms around the school. Students who have been leaving their cars by the boys' locker room and by the tennis courts unattended in the evenings have come back to find their windows broken and some have had items stolen out of their vehicles. Once again, I won tickets off of a radio station and was able to meet Baby Bash. He agreed to an exclusive interview with In the News at CHS. Hi, I'm Jessica Harrington with In the News at CHS, and I am here with Baby Bash himself. Hi, I'm Jessica Harrington with In the News at CHS, and I'm here with the one and only Bow Wow. So, did you have a regular high school experience? Did you go to like a public school, private school? If you're planning your next movie night, you can always come here. You can go for something classic like Jurassic Park, something funny like Legally Blonde. Trejo says the typical workout in the gym, lifting weights and running on a treadmill is boring. He would prefer to go outside and do something a little different. The group hands out bags in South Los Angeles, which has one of the highest homeless populations in the country. It is estimated there are more than 570,000 medical marijuana patients in California. People have debated whether or not you burn more calories when you wear high heels, but the one thing that hasn't been debated, the effect it has on your feet. Montemayor was working at a public relations firm when she started SBH. Within six months, her sales were doing so well that she left her job. Now she shops at showrooms like these every other week. Hey, Jackie, there is a lot of excitement out here right now. I've got practically the whole crew here with me. And hey, Chewbacca, I want to know, how are you feeling about the premiere tonight? No. <laughs> I'm going to take that as pretty good. Right now, eastbound and westbound 58 are reopened. Finally, CHP has got them moving. So if you are heading those ways, just make sure you give yourself some extra time because, as we said, there are some slick conditions. Best Buy will be opening up Thursday night at 5. So unlike other campers that are at other retailers with five more nights to go, these ones here only have four more nights until the doors open up. Reporting live in Northwest Bakersfield, Jessica Harrington, 23 ABC.